What's up gamers, Aaron Shack here with another exciting video. Uh, the developers of Black Myth Wukong have dropped an 8 minute exclusive gameplay trailer uh, that we're going to check out and do a little bit of an analysis of. I've looked at three other videos um, that they've dropped uh, gameplay trailers, a Year of the Ox trailer, an Unreal Engine 5 test, and now they're showing what the game looks like in 4K with RTX on. Just note, I'm watching this 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's just what my monitors handle. If you want to see it in 4K, watch it after this video. Um, but let's see what analysis I can catch on to and, and bring to uh, this trailer here. So this should be some gameplay footage. This is by Game Science. Uh, they're a developer out in China. And the game looks very exciting. So this is a pre-alpha game build, work in progress. Okay, so once again, um, l let's just look at the HUD here uh, so you can understand. Um, from what people have told me in the comments of my first video is that Wukong has a, a lot of powers and he can become different animals and he utilizes different weapons and, and he's, you know, very interesting. Interesting character here. Okay, so we got the health of our boss enemy here. Alright, here's our hero now. He knocked around a little bit. It reminds me of Sekiro in some ways. And so we're seeing that there's like a health bar, there's like a stamina bar, right? So that yellow bar is going down the more he attacks and, and rolls around. And then he took a hit, so the white bar went down a little bit. And I guess this... Uh, weird shaped meter here that's shaped like a bottle of some sorts is uh, you know his healing potions so however many he has it, it starts going down there as well oh nice look at that nice dodge in between the legs that was cool I don't think you could do that with most bosses in video games okay so now he's cast something um, so he's once again utilizing some of the the spells or, or whatever you may call it that's in the bottom right corner here Slides between the legs does a couple hits And he casts you press a, a button here Summons clones of himself And so that has drained some of uh, the blue meter there so we could say that maybe that's a magic or whatever element that is Interesting that this boss is like lifting rocks out of the ground. It's... Wait, where are you going? Well, I'll let my clones handle this. Oh, okay. And grab some some mushrooms of some sort. Yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous world. I mean, Unreal Engine 5 looks insane. Okay, we got a shrine here of some sort. Okay. It's like that branch grows when you do that. Okay, and then we have some options here. Oh, okay, so maybe you can like reset, you know, like you would a bonfire or, or various shrines in Dark Souls and, you know, Sekiro type games. He's definitely eating that. Can't really. He's, he's saying this in Chinese, I guess.
See if I can mess with sound here. Okay, we have some sort of, like, maybe a debuff here uh, that's happening. Oh, okay, he's he's drank that. And then it, it looks like these branches that have grabbed him have given him some sort of a, a debuff right here. It's, it's such beautiful animations. Let's see once again when he approaches this, uh, this creature. That audio is a little better. I love the perfect dodges. I love how fast the combat looks. A struggle to get free, maybe. Oh, I thought that grab was gonna get him. Oh, here, here we go again. Oh, okay, he does that. Dude, that is the coolest attack. So he lengthens the the staff here and, and climbs up it. Got him. Okay. Uh, looks like we have... Okay, this might be like health and magic and stamina, right? And various other statistics. Um, gear pieces and clothing and your, your little healing flask, your weapon. Uh, we've got several different types of menus. I, I cannot read any of that. Um, I am not familiar and then we have various items here that he's been picking up mushrooms branches whatever some sort of items here maybe that can be used as power-ups or crafting or something here I, I like the clothing though very interesting okay maybe there's lore here possibly okay yeah new creature so we're we're learning the lore on that enemy you know hopefully if we're playing this you know Years from now here in America, hopefully we get like an English translation. I could actually play the game um, Very cool uh, There's always something behind a waterfall Make sure I s You exploded the waterfall? Could he have not just walked through it? I mean, I know it's forest. A lot of forest comes down on you from the waterfall. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous game, as we've seen before. Alright, clearly enemy design is uh, top tier. Unlike anything else. He like turned himself to stone. So think like uh, Mortal Shell. You know how you had that hardened mechanic. It's it's kind of almost like the same thing here. And so it looks like another ability there in the bottom right corner is this skill. 
Um, and, and maybe if there's, you know, if he's got lots of abilities, maybe you're able to choose um, these here. So, yeah. And then boom, he gets hit, and then he, he bops out of it. Just see, design here is just so incredible. Music is bopping. Destruction is pretty. Oh! He did like sort of a, a dodge that left an echo behind. Oh, frozen? This is sick, dude. This is absolutely. Okay, and then you have like a. Kind of a takedown to deal some extra damage there. It's, it's cool that we're seeing someone. Oh my gosh. Okay, before we even get into whatever that is, uh, it, it's cool that we're seeing like a high skill level, you know, someone that knows the game playing here, you know. And you're also seeing him get knocked around a little bit. So, I mean, it, it, it makes this gameplay look really exciting. It shows what a, a real experience might be. So the animations look really smooth. And I have no idea what he's... What is that? I don't... What are you turning into? So he has a lot of abilities to transform into different things. Like a rock with legs. A fungus. I... Why would you... And the music changed too, which was really cool. So these crystals are breaking off on him, I guess? Wow, you really landed on his weak spot and you did that. So those little horns, those weird looking bell-shaped horns or whatever it is on his back, that's his weakness whenever we knock him unconscious a little bit. Look at that mustache, though. What a mean-looking mustache. Oh, you can dodge the, the tail sweep. Running out of heals. Okay, bottom right corner. Uh, we have something right here that just popped. It went the, did the little shing uh, sound. So let's see what that means. Probably gonna use it, right? Oh, staff is on fire. Oh, dude got knocked down. No. Oh, go back. Let's... Oh, they didn't... Look what they did to us. We thought we were going to see him take the enemy out. No. They don't want to spoil that. Oh, my God. I, I have nothing more to add. I have nothing more to add. Oh, hang on. We're not done. Okay, the, I thought they just didn't want to show the boss being defeated, but let's let's see here. A loot chest. New weapon. A new ability? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so that is courtesy of NVIDIA. Um, but there is also another uh, trailer here that's been simultaneously uh, released. This is six minutes of in-game cutscene. So let's let's check it out. Just to kind of get an idea of what cutscenes are like. Keep in mind, this is probably all going to be in Chinese. Some some sort of, you know, there'll be subtitles probably in Chinese. You know, be speaking various languages. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, I, I think we'll be interested in what we have to see here. So, 
I'm, I'm not familiar with Journey to the West and all of these incredible stories. Um, but it's a very interesting mythology for them to explore uh, in a game like this, it seems. And I'm here for it. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be confused the whole time, but I'm all about it. Alright, we got English. Shut up. Yeah. My feelings exactly. <笑>我是人姐姐你成亲这么着急做什么像你编排我不见就收拾这个小妻子哎呀好姐姐就饶了我吧来了来了向官来了我来迟了妹妹们久等我的母亲日思夜想的是个什么俊俏郎君怎么
You're gonna make something out of spider webs? Is that? It's I don't. I, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think that's gonna be a good thing. Nope, that, that doesn't sound good. Oh god. Oh, I hate it. No. Too detailed. We're gonna have to fight that, huh? Game science, man. Once again, making me, like, really curious about this game. Um, I, I don't think I have anything to add. I mean, my initial impressions here of this game uh, are, are just, I, I can't believe it's real, but it's, it's the potential of what Unreal Engine 5 is capable of, which we've obviously seen more uh, visuals of. You know, Jeff Keighley has, has shown it to us on on several occasions um just seeing the the detail the fidelity um this this is next gen looking stuff here and i i don't think nvidia would be giving us a, a glimpse here at some of this dope gameplay if if this game was at all like some sort of like a cash grab or or a deceptive uh tech demo of some sort um it really seems like game science is out here to do something Really incredible. I I still don't get why he ran away <laughs> to go to go eat mushrooms and and move on to the the tree thing. But once again, the detail looks impressive. Um, the combat looks really fun. The abilities look interesting. I mean, it it just looks like a game like Sekiro that shadows die twice that you know just really had amazing combat beautiful scenery um and it pulled me in and and there's sort of this what looks like a very rpg type angle here so you know while we might be looking at and thinking it seems like a souls game in some ways i i think it's more of an rpg with some of the combat that we might be used to in a souls game but you know this is very fast paced it's it doesn't appear that it's like some grueling, punishing title here. You know, this seems like a, a beautiful game, a story-based game where you have just a lot of abilities and a lot of cool things that your character is capable of doing. Um, so those are my thoughts. If you want to see uh, some of our uh, other footage that they've shown from the game, some of my reactions, I'll have links to those in the description down below. Um, Definitely hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. I enjoy covering games, uh, doing game news, and, and sort of journalism, and, and breaking down footage here, and just theorizing about you know what what certain games could be like. You know, not necessarily to get over hyped about them, um, but to just figure out what our expectations are and, and just see incredible things that developers are up to. And I I just can't believe this creature right here is a real thing so i think i think let's watch this fight happen again and then i'll roll us out because the the dodges the the bloody details the, the ability to turn to stone there yeah we're seeing the knockback animations you know, we're seeing that you can dodge the tail whip or, or get hit by it. But not every attack's a knockdown, so some some might just stagger you or knock you aside a little bit. And now he's got some sort of electricity happening around him as a result of the, uh, the shock there. So that that's continuing to make his health bar flash. So yeah, it's interesting to see different clothing as well. So he dodged out of that, did the echo. Echo again. Froze the enemy. Still the most fascinating, yeah. And now that the enemy's stunned, you can attack the weak point and shatter one of those. Dealing some good damage. Yeah, 
just the incredible detail. And so it looks like you've transformed to this creature and you have different moves here that you can use. And spin around. I love the change of music. Just to make it seem weird and kind of funky. So yeah, that stunned him very easily, it seems. And then he just fell on that and shattered. So yeah, this is Black Myth Wukong. Just a, a very interesting game that every time they show, I am absolutely going to watch whatever they're here to show us. And whenever this game is ready, I'm, I'm here to play it. I, I definitely want to give it a try if that's at all possible. If they localize and put out a, a version in America, that would certainly be ideal. Um, with the hype this game has gotten at this point, I, I don't see how they couldn't. So he did a tail sweep and broke a bunch of rocks, it appears. Yeah, like he chipped away part of the mountain behind him with all these sculptures. Black Myth Wukong, there you go. Just incredible. So once again, like the video, if you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel. Um, we play a lot of Marvel and DC Comics uh, games. We play a wide variety of games from horror to action, adventure, RPGs, stealth games, a little bit of everything. It's very much a variety channel. Um, and I love to do lots of news coverage and gaming coverage here. Just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see more. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game and check out the rest of my footage. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.